What's up, Industrial Automation World? I'm Mike. I'm the marketing manager for Scott Equipment Company. We're excited. Maria drove up from Atlanta today. She's with Murr Electronic. She's a product manager, and today she's going to talk about the Murr, the Miko Pro, but she's going to do something a little different. She's got a demo, and she's going to explain to you how and why it works and why you need to consider the Miko Pro in your control boxes. Okay? Maria, thanks for coming up, and we're going to hand it off to you. Thank you so much, Mike. I'm ready. This is the Miko Pro demo, which is available to all Scott Equipment Company account managers. And with this demo, I will explain to you why the Miko Pro is so effective in replacing your traditional circuit breakers. What's up, Industrial Automation World? I'm Mike. I'm the marketing manager for Scott Equipment Company. We're excited. Maria drove up from Atlanta today. She's with Murr Electronic. She's a product manager, and today she's going to talk about the Murr the Miko Pro, but she's going to do something a little different. She's got a demo, and she's going to explain to you how and why it works and why you need to consider the Miko Pro in your control boxes. Okay? Maria, thanks for coming up, and we're going to hand it off to you. Thank you so much, Mike. I'm ready. This is the Miko Pro demo, which is available to all Scott Equipment Company account managers. And with this demo, I will explain to you why the Miko Pro is so effective in replacing your traditional circuit breakers. All right, Maria, hey, look, we've got the Miko Pro demo here, and you're going to explain to us how and why it works the way it does and why it's an alternative to standard circuit breakers. So you're going to explain to us the two circuit breakers here, how they work and why the Miko Pro is an alternative. So traditional circuit breakers are thermally based mechanical products. What happens is they watch out for a certain temperature when the current gets through it. So they have like a threshold before they trip. As you can see, this okay. one takes longer and this one takes shorter. The C-curve breaker makes sure that when there's a small spike in current, such as when you turn on your devices or your, your machines, it doesn't trip. So that's great, because you want to make sure that it doesn't right. stop as soon as the machines start. Unfortunately, when there's a short or power surge, it also doesn't trip. Okay. So what do you do? You have this as a everything's good, it's just a small spike, or you have the Z-curve breaker, which trips when there's a short or power surge. Okay. But it also trips when there's an inrush current. Okay, got so, it. So you have to use both to monitor your current. Understood. I'm with you on that. On the other hand, with the Miko, it's all done electronically. So one, it trips way faster. And two, it makes sure it doesn't trip when there's just an inrush current or a small spike. Okay. For example, like if you look at that, nothing happens, no tripping. But when you trip when there's a short or power surge, boom, they get an alarm here, you get an alarm here, and so you get an alarm in the PLC. Okay, so the red lights, something's wrong. Yeah. Got it. Red is bad, green is go, right? Okay. So you can turn this off directly on this machine, or you can turn it off externally if you can't find the guy with the keys to the... Right, find the maintenance man. Yeah. There you go, boom. The cabinet, keys... The, and we're back up and running, everything's green. Yeah, everything's green, your circuits close back up and you can run as you need. Now also the Miko Pro, because it's an electronic system, can monitor your current as it goes. So it can watch out for when you're hitting that 90% threshold, as you can see with this blinking green light over here, okay. and one right here, that there's an issue, that you're getting too high in current and that I, there could be failures on your machines. Yeah, so something's going on, there's an electrical issue somewhere that you're over 90% of what you want it to be at. Exactly. And you're getting an alarm, okay. And when it reaches 100, as you can tell by this model, it trips it again. Okay. So once again, you can turn it off externally, or you can go open up the cabinet, get the guy, and turn it off Got it. with the button. All right, so that's the nice thing is that with the Miko Pro, you actually have monitoring capabilities to watch the electrical current through your machines. Yes. Awesome. Appreciate that explanation of the Mer, P Mer Miko Pro and uh, why it's such a great product for your customers. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions about the Miko Pro, contact your local Scott Equipment account manager. Maria, again, thanks for coming up from Atlanta today to talk to us about the Miko Pro. And more importantly, show us how it works with the Miko Pro demo. If you're, more, if you're interested in seeing the demo, reach out to your local Scott Equipment Company account manager. They can bring it to you. Again, Maria, thanks for explaining how this thing works, why it works, and why you need it. Thanks for watching today's video. 
Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great industrial automation videos. Thanks, Maria. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Anytime.